Uh, we've got some more kids stuff to do today. So uh, come on kids, story time. Testing, test. All kids to the living room. Yay! If I get to sit in the middle. Okay. Everybody have a seat. Come on everybody, fill up the living room. Okay. Hey. We got lots of kids today. Just have a seat on the steps, in the, on the floor, on the rug, wherever you can sit. Amen. We have had several stories about, who can tell me? And somebody brought yeah, their Bible? Yeah, why don't you move those so they can see and Bob can get Bring a picture. Bible? Just move them that way over Bible. by the door. You're going to need your Bible. Okay. Amen. All right. Dan, can you help We've me? had stories about birds. We've had stories about what? The bee. The bee last week. This week it's about Willie Walking Stick. Have you ever seen a Willie Walking Stick? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever wondered why there are so many different kinds of insects in the world? Each is equipped to live in its own climate and surroundings. God also gives each one means of survival. Some insects, such as bees and hornets, are given barbs and stingers. Others send out sounds of smells or smells that frighten away their enemies. I believe the most interesting group of all the insects are the camouflage experts. Without unpleasant stings, smells, or noises, they blend in so perfectly that their surroundings, you don't even notice them. One of the nature's most clever camouflage, and who makes nature? God. God. One of his most clever camouflage experts is Willie Walking Stick. If you go for a walk in the woods, you may discover that there's a twig that has long legs that kind of thrust out to the side, and the twig may just start to walk. And if a bird or a mouse seems to be interested in him, he can play dead for a long time, for hours. Sometimes the walking stick will change color with the season, green in the spring, dark brown in the fall. Walking sticks usually feed on leaves of trees. When it's time for the eggs to hatch and drop to earth, it sounds like the pitter-patter of rain. That's a pretty loud noise, isn't it? The eggs look like little seeds. In Australia, walking sticks can reach the length of 13 inches. How long is that? A foot and an inch. A yard, uh, like a, a ruler. A ruler. As long as a ruler. And one more inch. Yeah, I don't know how fat they are. In the tropics, even more unusual walking sticks can be found. They're usually quite a bit larger. Some even to be covered with bark, and others have lumps like buds. We all agree the walking stick is a good pretender. He does so well that he is seldom gobbled up. Pretending may be good for the walking stick, but it isn't good for people. Did you ever wear a mask or pretend to impress those uh, that admire you? Did you ever pretend to be something you're not? Yes. Putting on airs and changing ourselves to suit others is really rather foolish, don't you think? The Bible says, Man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. If your heart is right with God, you don't need to fool anybody, do you? Our Bible verse today is Psalms 15, 1 through 3. We have someone that's going to read that. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the Gentiles say, so where is their God? But our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Our God is a merciful God, isn't he? Amen. He doesn't like us to pretend. He wants us to be true. He wants, his, he wants us to be what we really are inside, right? He wants us to be an image of him. And he's a good God, isn't he? Yes. Yes. So let's pray a blessing over our children today. Right now, Father God, we just lift up these little people. They're little people. We used to be there. Father God, we lift them all up to you because someday they're going to be big people in your kingdom. And they're going to do things for you, Lord. And they will, you will be so proud of them. And you will bless them and nourish them and give them the, the peace 
and the strength that they need every day. We just thank you for our little people today. We thank you for each boy and girl that will be a fine lady and man for you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. If y'all come by, that's Sister come by, Ashley. See Sister Ashley. See she Sister has something Ashley. in the basket for you.